I didn't like college. And what the heck? I didn't like it. I, I posted my videos. I tried to put on a clean face and be like, yeah, guys, I love UGA. Moving to my dream city and like, it's freaky. It's so cool. Are my armpits sweating? Okay, no. watching this video, I highly recommend listening to the song Never Grow Up by Taylor Swift. It really got me in the mood for this video and I really think it'll set the tone, so I'll give you a minute. <laughs> and if you want to join me, grab a glass of kombucha, iced tea, wine, whatever tickles your fancy. I poured it in a lovely little glass here to kind of set the tone for the video. Hello you guys, what's up? It's Danielle. If you're new, well, my name's Danielle, <laughs> and um, I've been making videos for over 10 years now, taking you guys along on my life, and I am in my second semester of my senior year in college, and I've just been having a lot of thoughts lately just about graduating and, you know, reflecting on my last four years here at the University of Georgia, and it's so crazy. Like, they say time flies fast, and you know, hold on to those college years, hold on to those high school years, whatever it might be for you, and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, but I got it. Like, it's gonna go by slow. Like, I wish I can graduate right now, and then it happens, and it's like, holy crap, people were right. I don't know. So initially, I was really starting to feel like this um, about a month ago when I was at home, packing to move back up to college after winter break for my last semester as a student ever like ever ever unless for some reason in the future i decide to come back and get a master's or you know i decide to go back to school in the future whether it be here or somewhere else which i'm not completely eliminating at all but um as of now this is my last year as a student ever for to be dramatic um, and it's crazy, and I, I like posted like this long Instagram story thread, or thread, I don't know, just a ton of Instagram stories in a row, of videos of me just talking, sitting at my desk, like literally crying, packing, because I, it was just hitting me. I was like looking back, actually I need to read the Instagram caption. I said, sappy caption warning. I wrote this as I was feeling this way that day. As I head into my final semester of college, I remind myself how far I've come and how the journey wasn't always easy. Tears fill my eyes at the thought of graduating leaving college behind. It's crazy because at first, I hated college and was so ready to graduate and grow up. This is a note to my younger self. Enjoy the ride and take in every moment because it will flash before your eyes. I'm thankful for game days my goofy hallmates, the best of friends I've made, my amazing boyfriend who I wouldn't have met unless I came to UGA, and the beautiful city of Athens itself. I learned a lot about myself, who I am, what I believe in, and who I want to be. I am almost ready to spread my wings and fly on to the next chapter of my life. But for now, I'm going to soak up this last semester at best I can. Freshmen, sophomores, and even juniors in college soak it up. I so wish I could go back to nights in the dorm, dining hall trips, the excitement of the first day of classes, getting lost on campus, and spontaneous nights. I love you guys so much, and I'm so thankful I've gotten the chance to share my journey with you and cannot wait to continue. So I just wanted to read that for you guys. I know a lot of you guys probably already saw that, but that definitely encapsulates how I'm feeling right now, and I just wanted to sit and make a video just kind of talking about how I'm feeling kind of where I'm, my head's at with post-grad, where I want to go, but how I feel about that. That's why I brought along the kombucha. Kombucha relaxes me. Does anyone else feel this way? Like, it literally makes me just, like, feel calm, like, as it goes through my body. I don't know. So, yeah, I am a fashion merchandising major with an emphasis in brand management here at UGA. I started out at UGA. Um, I came from Tampa, so I was out of state. I started out thinking I wanted to be a business major, so I took intended business classes, and then I decided, oh, I think I like more of the creative side of it, so I wanted to be advertising intended instead. Kind of bopped around, and I thought, oh, I'll make my minor fashion merchandising. So as I was pre, I was intended Grady, which is the advertising or journalism school here. I uh, these lights are literally killing my eyes. Can I just do that? Is that okay? 
as I was taking those classes, I took um, an intro class, the intro to fashion merchandising or whatever the class was called, and I fell in love with it. I looked forward to going every day. I loved my professor. She was my only professor that knew my name, recognized me when I walked in. It was a smaller classroom. It wasn't as big of lecture hall, and I just loved it. I loved talking about, I mean, we talked about fashion industry. We talked about influencers. We talked about everything that I love and I was genuinely so interested. I looked forward to going home and doing the homework, which when does that happen? It hadn't happened to me until this. And so I really like went back and forth of if I wanted to be a fashion merchandising major and then finally I was like, but this is what I want to do. Cause I, I hate to say it, but I was kind of like, oh, like I don't want to have to call my dad and tell him I switched from, you know, advertising to fashion merchandising. This is how I felt at the time. This is not how I feel now, by the way, because after going through the course, like it is not an easy course and it's, it, it's what I love to do. So why was I trying to demean it? I don't know. Um, but I was so nervous. I, I just, I didn't want to let anybody down. And so I remember calling my dad and saying, Hey, I, really love this class. I love it. I love the professors. I love the school. It's a little bit smaller. I'm starting to know people in the class, so I'd be with them in all of my other classes of the major, and I just thought it was really cool. And and my dad was so supportive. He was like, absolutely, 100%, you got to follow your heart. And I'm so thankful that I have supportive family because I know not everyone has that situation, so obviously that's part of my privilege that I'm really, really thankful for. That was kind of how I went academically, and I'm so happy that I'm graduating as fashion merchandising major. It's completely on brand. Like every time I tell someone my major is, they're like, oh, that makes complete sense. And that should be how it is. Like, I love it. It's what I do well in it. I'm in the honor society for my major. I just found out, so I'm really happy. Or for my college or whatever. Um, and it's just the coolest thing. It's really exciting. Among all of that, I didn't like college. And what the heck? I didn't like it. I. I posted my videos, I tried to put on a clean face and be like, yeah guys, I love UGA. And I liked parts of it, obviously, because in my caption I talked about freshman year. But at first, I I just felt like I needed to be in New York City. I felt like I needed to, to, to leave, I wanted to go to a city school instead. My whole life I thought I wanted to go to, you know, a big football southern school and then all of a sudden freshman year I was like nope I actually want to graduate like all it I literally in my head would be like oh my gosh like all people who want to do here is party I I don't want to be here like I'm so much better than these people oh my god I hate myself for that I hate myself for that like I was so and I just said those things because I wanted to feel better about myself and it and at the end of the day upon like looking back on it all that's not even actually how I was feeling. I was just too scared to put myself out there in college. And I was so used to, I came from a small private high school where I had my friend group. I, you know, everything was perfect. And then I came here and it was a whole new ball game. I obviously had a group of a ton of girlfriends as soon as I came in going through recruitment and everything. And I was, I don't know, I just like wasn't finding my people right away. I had a long distance boyfriend and he didn't go here. And you know, half the things freshman year, I feel like are to meet guys, honestly, not half the, th you guys know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. A lot of it is like, oh boys. And I just like didn't care. Meeting a boy wasn't the whole goal for a lot of these people, but I felt like I was just so different than any, everybody else. And I mean, I am different. Everyone's different. Everyone's unique in their own ways, but I just, I don't know. So I, I definitely didn't participate in as much as I wanted to freshman year. I thankfully, <laughs> thankfully I still had friends. I obviously loved those people. They weren't fake friends at all. I became so close with my freshman year homemates. Like, holy crap, if it weren't for them, like I probably would have transferred a hundred percent. So I had my homemates, but I, I traveled so much freshman year. I remember I tried to get my schedule, so I only had classes Tuesdays and Thursdays. So my Tuesdays and Thursdays were packed, but then from Friday to Monday, I could travel if I wanted. I think there was a month where I traveled three weekends in a row, no, no joke. And my poor freshman year roommate, I left her all the time, I feel so bad. I also had an apartment freshman year um, that I don't, I don't regret getting that because it was really, um, it would have been really hard to film videos and it was nice to send my packages there and when people came to stay, if my boyfriend came to stay or whatever, they'd stay in my apartment. It was a smaller, just like a little one bedroom apartment, but I'm so glad I had that. I, I definitely don't regret that. That was, and it was like for business essentially. But I would use that as an escape. So if I was feeling anxious or sad, I would just run to my apartment where no one else was, which 
I'm all for being alone and everything, but like I, I just would cry and cry for hours and I just thought that I just needed to be in New York City. I needed to go and do my thing there and then, sorry, I don't know if you guys asked for this whole story, but here we go. I remember freshman year spring break, I did not want to go. It was in Gulf Shores, Alabama where everyone was going and we got this huge house with a ton of girls and I just, I'm not, I just don't always enjoy that. I'm more like of a grandma in that sense. I was just like, I don't want to go. I don't care. I don't care. And then I pushed myself to go and I told myself, I was like, only stay two nights. Like then you can go back to Tampa for the rest of spring break. And so I decided to do that. Oh, back, 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 back. One of the other um, people that I ended up confiding in was Delaney because we both like her and I started to hang out a little bit. I'll have her on my channel soon and we'll like talk about this again. We've talked about it a couple times. But one day we were like both on a car ride. I think it was raining. I don't know where we were going. We might've just honestly gone for a drive. And we basically come to find out that both of us were pretty unhappy at school. We just, I don't know, we just didn't like it. And we just like didn't feel like we belonged. We felt like, I don't know, it was just this weird thing. And we like, we created a really strong bond from that. And that's why her and I have stayed such close friends because we were very aligned on a lot of things. Then her and I both decided, okay, let's go on spring break just for a couple nights. We get there, we have the time of our lives. I became friends with so many more girls, or should I say, closer friends with them. I was already friends with them, but became even closer with them. And at this point, you guys, I literally had applied to fashion schools in New York City and gotten accepted and was just like trying to figure out like what I wanted to do. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't even tell Brooke. Brooke didn't know. I was just so scared. I don't even know if Delaney knew at that point or not. I really don't know. But um, then something changed freshman year spring break and I was like, wait, I'm having fun. I'm being youthful. I like being a kid and and I will say so then I call my parents or no when I came home from spring break um, Cuz I came back early, which I remember being sad leaving early We were like oh like I kind of wish we stayed a little longer So I was starting to just like meet people make new friends and some of those people I met on that trip like I still stayed really close with um, So it's just like so crazy and I'm just telling you guys the story because I just want to inspire any of you I know this video is gonna be like an hour long but that happened I came home I told my parents and obviously they were thrilled they were supportive either way but I could tell they definitely felt that I should stay at UGA and kind of just push it out. So then I stayed another year and then first semester sophomore year, I remember kind of being again, just because I was living alone. I decided to live alone, which I don't regret, but I also just like, I don't know. I started to like get all independent again and I was like, oh, you know, this is my last shot if I really want to go to school in New York City. Like, oh my God, Danielle, would you chill out? But at the time, I didn't, I, that's how I felt. And so my parents were like, oh, really, Danielle, you're thinking about it again? So then I'm pretty sure I applied again and went through it all again. And then I even went to tour FIT, LIM in New York City. I flew in, I did like the secret trip. I just said I was in New York, but I was totally touring schools. And I will never forget. <laughs> I was in the hallway of LIM and the middle started playing. The middle by Zed started playing on like the intercom, like the radio or whatever. I don't really know. Maybe we we're in the office or something. That is like me and my homemates song. Like that is like that. Take it to the grave. Like, it was just our thing. And it literally made me start crying. I remember I like went to the bathroom and I was like, holy crap, like am I doing the right thing? And I, all of a sudden I just thought back of all of my memories at UGA. Like. You know, I'm talking about the crappy times, but I had so much fun, like going to the dining hall, meeting friends, going to these parties or whatever, like I was having fun and I wasn't letting myself have fun. I wasn't letting myself be youthful and young. I thought I had to grow up so fast. I thought, you know, I had to go and be in New York City and do this and I, I won't meet any guys here at UJ. Oh, by the way, Joey and I broke up the day I decided I was staying at UJ. We had already broken up at this time. We were broken up freshman year of high school. Er, Freshman year of college, second semester. So then I, so the, yeah, then I had that moment and I was just thinking back on all these memories of going to the football games and how much I love going to the football games and how badly I wanted to go to UGA to begin with and how the thought of like leaving my homemates, leaving Delaney, my other new friends I had made, it was, it just didn't feel right. And I was like, I had this epiphany. I was like, I love New York City so much, but it can wait. New York City will be here, hopefully, you know? And I am so happy I had that realization because the very next semester, second semester, sophomore year of college, I um, really started to, like, I started just feeling like in my element, I felt independent and like really happy with myself. I was practicing a lot of self-love and I just like didn't care. I just wanted to have fun with my friends. And of course they always say, you know, you always find them when you're least looking for them. 
I was having just a night with Daly and a couple of my other friends and I saw Ryan from across the room, told the story a thousand times and he came up to me and was just like, hey, what's your name? And we talked for the longest time and then he kept pursuing me and it's just this crazy thing and I remember being like, oh, I don't want a boyfriend, I don't want a boyfriend, like I'm finally like happy here at UGA, like let's go. But that only made my experience better. We started dating and obviously we're still dating. Um, actually today as I'm filming this, um, and this video is going up tomorrow, but today as I'm filming this, Ryan and I met two years ago today, which is so crazy. It feels like yesterday, but then that was actually the best semester of my whole entire life. Like my friends and I all agree because I became friends with Ryan and all of his guy friends. Cause that was another thing. I didn't have any guy friends here except for like, I could probably count them on one hand. And I love, I loved my guy friends from high school and I was just really bummed that I didn't have these guy friends because I felt like freshman year since I had a boyfriend, I couldn't talk to the guys and it was ugh. I'm sure some of you guys could relate on this, but I met Ryan and then all of his friends and I'm still friends with all of his friends and then my friends met his friends, some of my friends started dating his friends and they're all still dating and it's this, it's this great thing, it's, it was the coolest thing and so we all went on each other's date nights and parties and we would like all go for like a day trip, we all went to like Music Midtown to get, like it was so much fun, really felt like it was like the true college experience or what I wanted in a college experience should I say and it was because I let myself go. I, you know, decided to really put myself into school. I stopped traveling every weekend. And I mean, I had so much fun on a lot of those travels I did, but it was, I, I don't know. I just was missing out on so much. I missed like half of the game days freshman year of high of college. It's crazy. And then junior year, obviously, first semester of junior year and second semester of sophomore year were like the best. Like it was, I was thriving. I loved it. And then obviously COVID hit and we all know what happened after that. But those were some of my favorite times. And I'm obviously still so thankful and I'm still so happy being here. But it's just so crazy to think freshman year, like I really wanted out. Like I really did. And it was just because I was thinking about the future so much that I wouldn't put myself in the moment. And once I actually just kind of let myself go and enjoy it, it was so much fun. And it wasn't just because, I, I know I'm mentioning like parties and stuff, but it wasn't even because of that. It was because I was just like studying with my friends more at Tate Student Center. Late nights, late nights in the dorms were the best times of my life. Like just literally pranking our other roommates and hallmates and just being silly. That's just who we are. I like to play a lot of games. Like I'm just weird. Okay, I'm not your typical, I don't know. I'm weird. And you know, we would go for little day trips into Atlanta, whatever it may be, but I was just really putting myself in the environment, if that makes sense. So that's kind of all of that. I don't know how long that part was. And then looking back, obviously I, I get mad at myself and that's how I've been feeling lately. I'm just like so upset that I didn't, you know, fully immerse myself freshman year and I get sad. And I think that's why I'm like really sad about graduating and growing up because I feel like I tried to grow up too fast, but then I'm also kind of, on the other side thinking, but that's what I wanted to do at the time. And I, you can't change the past. You can't, all you can do is be in the moment now and just do better in the future. And I'm not saying I did a bad thing freshman year by traveling all the time and just, you know, wanting to be alone or wanting to be with my boyfriend, but it is good to reflect. And it is just like, I'm just sad that I'm about to graduate. It's so crazy, like college is, it, it's such a fun time in your life. And I just, I know I said it in my caption, but if you are in college and you're not about to graduate, or if you are about to graduate, just soak it up as best you can. Just the littlest of things, even just being on Zoom class, just soak it in. Soak in the fact that you get to learn and take in information and, as weird as it sounds, like this semester, I'm really trying not to complain about homework or going to class or anything like that because I may literally never have to do a homework assignment again. And I'm so grateful for that, but it is a crazy thing. And I know myself and my type A self, I'm gonna miss like having things to do for school. I'm going to miss, you know, walking on campus. That's gonna be, I love walking on campus. And I'm gonna miss like having a backpack on and like maybe seeing someone I know and saying, hey, it's just, it's the little things. I'm gonna miss sitting at Tate Student Center up late at night studying for a test that I'm so nervous for. But those are just things that you can't always get back. I'm just feeling emotional. And I, fe and I thought at this point, I would have senioritis because I remember senior year of high school I totally had senioritis and I was like I'm so ready to go like I love my I love my friends there but I was so excited for the next chapter and I am so excited for my next chapter I don't know what it is but I do not feel senioritis right now I don't I'm just I'm sad like every time I'm like oh you're so excited to graduate and I'm like 
No, like I'm actually not. It's funny though, because at the same time I'm putting all these classes into my last semester so I can graduate on time. So I want to graduate on time, but also it's like, I don't know. Do you guys know what I'm trying to say? It's just weird. And I also like, while I was home this past winter break, I had the thought like, this is my last winter break. Like this is a, like my last break from school because UJ is not giving us a spring break this year. So that like, it, it's just like, like once you graduate and once you like get a job or move or like stop going to school, whatever you're doing, like you, it's not like, oh, I'm going home for winter break. I'm going home for summer break. Like you just move somewhere and you're just there. And I mean, obviously you can travel back and go, but I had this thought. I was like, you just like, that like, you're not a student. Like, I don't know. I know you guys are probably, this girl sounds so stupid, but if you think about it, it's really trippy. It's really weird. So where am I going from here? I mean, a lot of you guys already know I am moving to New York City. Thank God, my gosh, right? Like finally going, I'm so excited. And it feels so surreal that this year in 2021, I could potentially be living in my dream city ever. And it's crazy. And I've been really just trying not to get too excited about it yet because I've been seeing all these things, you know, you're always excited for that next thing. Like that next thing that I do, I'll be my happiest. I'll then be fulfilled. Like once I move to New York City, everything will be better. And I remember thinking that in high school, like once I go to college, everything will be better. What? And yeah, things get more and more exciting, I guess, but you gotta enjoy that moment. And so I am so excited to move to New York City, uh, but it's also like, I'm definitely trying to enjoy my time here. So. Uh, I mean, I know I've talked about this before. <sighs> That's the other thing I'm feeling like I, I sometimes go back and forth. I'm like, should I get a real job? Like, I don't know. But also I, <sighs> I thrive off of having too much to do. I thrive off of being a part of a community. Like I love how the last 10 years I've been on YouTube, I've been, I've been a student, whether it's in high school, college, have other organizations I'm involved with, clubs, you know, in high school, I did theater. I was a football manager. There's all these different things. And once I graduate, I, I'm going to continue to do YouTube, our podcast, Gals on the Go. One of the reasons I'm moving to New York City is because Brooke, my co-host, lives in New York City and we want to record together. We want to take Gals on the Go to the next level, maybe do a video component, record in person together and do so much more with Gals on the Go because it's really taken off and people love it. So we definitely want to like keep going with it and it's so much fun and we genuinely love it. So moving to New York City, like, yes, this is my job and like having a podcast and it's going to be so great for us to be together. Um, so that's one reason I guess I'm justifying moving to New York City, but then I am a fashion merchandising major and I do want to work in the fashion industry. I love the idea of that, but I also, I don't, <laughs> this would be the first time that I actually get the chance to really see where I'm at with, um, my brand, with what I'm doing here, with what I'm doing on the podcast, some projects that I've literally always wanted to do. And I said, I'll do those once I graduate because I needed to focus on school. So I just want to give myself that chance and I want to give myself some grace because it's kind of crazy and I'm so thankful, but fi financially it does make sense for me to just do this. So yeah, that's kind of where my head's at right now with everything. I think I just want to, you know, get there, move there, start to settle in. And if I start to feel some sort of emptiness, like there's something else I'm wanting, I'm going to apply for some internships. Yeah, I'll be a 23 year old intern, whatever. I don't care. People get internships when they're a lot older as well, you know, I, just to get some more experience and just to be in the field. Right now I'm working on styling with a magazine here on campus, so I, I'm curious to see if I like the styling aspect. I'm in a retail buying class right now. There's things like I'm learning right now and I, I just kind of want to immerse myself in the situation and see what I have interest in and maybe get an internship from there, but I just want everything to be organic. And I'm again, I'm so thankful that it can be that way, but I'm not giving myself pressure. Of course it's, you know, I hate to say it, but like when people ask like, oh, what are you doing? Like, what, what are you applying to jobs? And I'm like, no, I'm just doing my thing. And, and at one point I kind of feel like, oh wow, they probably think I'm, you know, not trying hard enough, but I am trying so hard. I have worked so hard. Yeah, I'm not applying for traditional job, but I have so many hours clocked in the sense of some of the tasks that I would be doing at these other jobs that I could t attempt to apply for. You know what I mean? Like it's, I've really, I've created my own planner. I've designed it. I've marketed it. I've worked with advertisers. I've worked with other people. I have great communication skills, great collaboration skills. There is so much that I have learned just from doing this on my own video editing, podcast hosting, podcast production. I have so much knowledge and and I'm not trying to gas myself up or anything right now, but this is what I have to do in my head when I start to feel down about myself because, I mean, we're in 2021. There is no right or wrong answer as to what your career should be. 
in my opinion. I, I've always said, since I was little, you got to do what you love. And again, I'm so thankful that I can do what I love. I know it's not that easy in every situation. I'm so thankful that that is what it is for my situation. I'm always trying to give back and give thanks whenever I can because I am so grateful. But it's just like when you're given this situation, it's like, hi, what do we do, you know? So yeah, I am moving to New York City. I am, for the first time ever, not planning when. I mean, I have like ideas in my head, but if anything 2020 taught me, you cannot plan right now. And I'm someone, if plans don't go the way I hoped, I get really upset, I get really sad, I get really disheveled, and I don't wanna do that to myself. I am I just wanna enjoy the ride. I wanna go home for the summer. Home is Tampa, Florida, if you guys didn't know. We just got a new golden doodle puppy, Finley. I love him so much, and I miss him so much. But, so I wanna go home for the summer and be there with him. I don't think I'd be bringing him to New York City. So I wanna go home for the summer and just be home and enjoy that time. I, maybe that's my last summer break. And then potentially in the fall, you know, August or September of this year, I will move to New York City. And the thing with like, some of my mom's friends are like, oh, you're gonna pot, you're looking at apartments. And the New York market the goes so fast. Like I cannot look at an apartment right now. By the time I'm ready to sign a lease or whatever, it'll be gone by now. So that's the cool thing. I don't have to look too far ahead in that sense. Yes, I have a ton of Pinterest boards for my new New York City life, but that's just something I do on the side, you know? So yeah, it's so crazy. My first time ever in New York City, I knew I wanted to move there. I knew it. I love the hustle and bustle. I don't even need to talk about that. You guys know when I'm in New York City, I feel my truest self. I feel so happy. I feel alive. I know it's a little different there right now, but I just so believe in the magic of the city and I, I'm just so excited for the things I'm going to create there. Then I also think about, do I want to live alone? Do I want to have a roommate? Like I always thought I wanted to live alone, but then recently this pandemic taught me, like I'm so thankful that I have a roommate that I get to spend time with because it's just nice to socialize with someone. And you know, just, I love cooking dinner with Delaney and just setting everything up. And you know, it's nice to share the household chores with them. But also I have this vision of my first New York City apartment, living alone, being independent. But then my boyfriend also might move to New York City. And, but we don't know that yet because he's applying to jobs and he could end up in Atlanta, he could end up in Charlotte. Like it's, it's just crazy. And it's, <laughs> it's all really good, really cool things. But these are just things I'm thinking about. And I don't even know how long I'm gonna be in New York City. I used to think I wanted to live and raise a family in New York City, but now I'm like, oh, it could be fun to live in New York City for, you know, up to five years or something and then move back down to the south to Florida to Georgia to North Carolina to Texas like and then start raising a family Guys like growing up is not it and that's why I'm filming this video. I don't want to grow up like I'm excited and I'm not complaining. It's just it's crazy like I never thought I'd get to this point in life where like it just felt so far it felt so far the idea of graduating college and like having a boyfriend like a serious one and moving to my dream city and like it's freaky it's so cool are my armpits sweating okay no i thought for a second that is a brain dump as i call them i like to do these sometimes when i'm just feeling a lot of thoughts and i feel like there's so many tabs open in my brain I just take a notebook and I start writing my thoughts down in however order, and that's kind of how this went. You guys got a little background on my freshman year of college and kind of how that all developed through the years, and then where I'm at now, and how I wanna go in the future. So yeah, you got it all. A very real video, very candid. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so thankful that I've gotten to take you guys along these years. It's been the best thing ever, and I can't wait to take you guys along on my next journey of moving the moving vlogs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, but yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for constantly supporting me and being there for me. And it's so crazy. I feel like we've all grown up together, which is the coolest thing. And oh, I love you guys so much. And I, I feel like I've talked to, I have no idea how long this video is, but I know it's not short. So I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope this inspires you in any way, shape or form. Feel free to leave a response down below how you're feeling, how you're coping with it. If you're about to graduate or if you have any sort of words of wisdom, I will listen. And I will talk to you guys this Sunday for my next video. It's going to be a week in my life vlog that I'm currently filming right now. So I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys then. Bye-bye.